Hey guys, it's Patriots Man here and I am back with another Mad Mobile video. Today's video we have my first team update of the year, the August team update. So this is obviously only a couple weeks into the game, usually you'll see a whole month of progression in between teams. But this is what, how my team is starting off from the first day of the game a couple weeks ago. So we have the first team update here, I'm going to go through each of the positions and as you can see I'm a 2,922 overall. So essentially I'm roughly a 97-ish overall with the special teams averaged in 97, 98. I haven't checked the exact overall, but you can see the total overall all the way on the left. So far this is a free to play team. I do have some Madden cash that I had saved up from the last season that sort of helped me buy stamina, but I haven't actually put any money into the game this season so far. But you know that could change when the next field pass comes out on Friday. So here we go, you'll see I have six epics on the team. Three of them from Tor, and three of them I actually pulled luckily from Pax, which has been insane. So first off, we got QB, Patrick Mahomes right here. You can see his stats right there. He's pretty quick for a QB, honestly, being Patrick Mahomes. 92 speed is really good. And of course, you can level up the stats and all that with these players, but he's 114 overall. All his stats right there. Now we have Raheem Mostert, who is a really fast, uncommon running back that I love to have there. Um, he's made some really big rushes because he's so fast. Especially against higher overall teams, he can still get through and still pick up a good amount of yards because he is so fast. So, there we go, Raheem Mostert. At the flex, we have Derrick Henry from the Tour, 121 overall epic player. So, he is actually almost on the same level speed-wise as Raheem Mostert. But because of his big body presence, I put him at the fullback position. And he's been a tank there. Picking up tough fullback dives when the line is stacked up. He pushes forward and gains that yard you need for a touchdown or a first down. I like this Derrick Henry card. In the flex, we have John Ross, who's obviously very quick. 94 overall. Uh, he's just been a speed demon and really good on those slant routes I, I um, like to call. Some of those crossing routes. John Ross has been pretty good. Next up for receivers, we have all the way here, wide receiver 1. We have Michael Thomas, 113 overall. So you'll notice I only have t uh, one rare wide receiver but that's because my wide receivers have still been doing pretty good for me uh, considering that my whole offense is all rare besides the wide receiver and of course Raheem Mostert but you know the, if you have uncommon players that are doing well for you you don't really have to replace them because you can upgrade them right now and keep them for the time being until of course crazier cards come along and then you know when you put it together the relative overalls then you know your players won't be as good but right now, Uncommon should you, and then we got Cortland Sutton, 97 speed, 87 catch. He's doing just fine with the team. So after that, through all the skill positions, we have TJ Hawkinson here at tight end. He was pulled the very first day of the game for me from a pack. An all Madden pack, I opened it up, I did it in a video. First pack opening, TJ Hawkinson pulled from a pack right now. I just have him up to level 10, so he's a 110 overall, but he's been pretty good. Most people have to use uh, rare or uncommon tight ends, but I was able to get an epic one out of the bat, or right out the bat from a pack. So pretty lucky right there. Then offensive line, we don't have to go too much into it, but Andrew Whitworth, Brad Saffold, um, Matt Paredes, Wyatt Teller, and DJ Humphreys. So I upgrade them just a tad bit, so like level three, level four, level two, depending on what their overall was. Not too much. Onto the defense, which you can see has a lot of high overall players including four epic players, which we'll get over how I go over how I got all of those as well. Arik Armstead right here, level 8, 91 overall at defensive end. We have defensive tackle Aaron Donalds from the tour, 4 million fans, Aaron Donald 104 overall. In our 4-3, we have Chris Jones, 91 overall defensive tackle. And then also from the tour, we have epic Chase Young, 102 overall, who is a force to be reckoned with. Now we move on to linebackers. We have Fred Warner right here, who's pretty solid. Uh, not a, not crazy because he's only at a 91 right now, but he gets he gets the job done. Um, Devin Bush at middle linebacker. I got him all the way up to level 20. Uh, for the Battle of the North, you had to get a level 20 player, I believe, for the middle events. I, I was able to upgrade this Devin Bush all the way up to level 20, and he's pretty insane at 106 speed, 107 excel. He was fast to start out with. So he's absolutely zooming across the field, 108 tackle, 108 pursuit. So when it goes up against other people's players, he's probably going to have the advantage most of the time. So that's a really good thing. Devin Bush, one of the star players of the defense right there. Shaquille Barrett right here, 
86 overall. Haven't upgraded him very much, but he is there. He is a rare player. Probably will get upgraded eventually unless I get some epic linebackers. TJ Watt epic pulled from a pack on stream just a couple days ago. From an AFC North pack, I pulled TJ Watt. Very lucky. He was a 94 overall to start out, and I've upgraded him up to 104. So there he is right there. We're moving on to the secondary now. Tyran Matthew, 107 overall. Uh, he's pretty nice. He has good coverage. Been doing well for me. Derwin James, 104 overall. You see, I almost have him up to rank 3. If I get two more Derwin James shards, then I can go ahead and actually get him up to the rank 3. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, Derwin James, probably going to be there for a while. Darius Slay, the last and final epic player to go over on the team here. Another player that I pulled from a pack. Just a couple days ago, um, I opened up this pack. The Uncommon Plus the uncommon plus Player Pack that you know from trades. It gives you an Uncommon Player guaranteed with a chance at rare or epic players. And I pulled an epic Darius Slay. He's a base 90 overall and I have him leveled up all the way up to 108 overall. So there you go, you can see his stats there. So compared to some other corners, his stats actually aren't the most crazy thing. But I pulled an epic player from an Uncommon Plus Player Pack. So Darius Slay, another epic on the defense right there. That's really nice. So, six total epics on this team. Three of them obviously from Tor, and three lucky from Pack. So I've been pretty lucky so far to get some epic players, and I hope my luck continues because I like to get a nice team, you know, without having to put resources into everything. So, Byron Jones over here. You can see his stats for it there real quick. And then finally, Aaron Nickel. Jair Alexander, who has some pretty insane stats, 99 speed, and his coverages are really, really nice. I just have Byron Jones because overall he's a little bit better when it comes to jumping and speed-wise. Uh, right now his uh, coverage stats are pretty similar to that Jair Alexander, so I'm not too concerned with having Jair at the nickel. Then finally at the dime, Buddha Baker, safety, right there. So his coverages aren't crazy, but he is good there for the dime. Now finally... Special teams, you'll see here that there's not a lot of upgraded players on the special teams besides the kick returner, but you know, that's because you don't use these players very often, although they are all rare players. Uh, Robbie Gold right here, 81 overall. We got Chase Edmonds at kick returner, 101 speed right there. Michael Dixon at punter, and then finally, Deontay Spencer at punt returner. So there we go. That is a team, 2,922 overall. So obviously when we have the next update, that'll be in September. Somewhere towards the end of September, probably in the final week of September, we'll have a team update and we'll see how this team has progressed. So we should be over 3K overall by then, have more epic players, stuff like that. The next field pass will be dropping on Friday and that'll basically do it for this video, guys. The team update for August. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and I'll catch you guys in the next video.